So how did the palm leaves find me? Well, I live in Mazonte and I would see posters of this palm leaf all around and all around town and it does something called to me. Um, it definitely, I was very curious um, and I wanted to know more. And I'd heard of other people having sessions and having um, been blown away by what was shared in the sessions and how healing they found um, doing the process. And I was amazed that there, it's possible to have uh, these remedies to overcome your karma in these certain aspects of life that are really limiting you. So I was very drawn to having my own reading done. The process of finding my own palm leaf, I was blown away. Um, so I'm there with my uh, reader and I couldn't believe really that, you know, they're asking these questions and all I'm saying is yes and no. So I'm not giving them any information. And I was, there was you know, part of me that was very skeptical, but also a part of me that was very open. So I really just wanted to see. And uh, through this process of just answering these questions, yes and no, uh, they were able to tell me my full name, my father's full name, my mother's full name, and I was literally just like blown away um, when they found it. So I think it took like uh, maybe an hour or something to find. Um, but it's pretty incredible to think that, that these even exist and they've been written by the Rishis for us. So it's quite a magical process and the fact that they exist and that they want to be found by us <laughs> is definitely that, that draw, that they're there for a reason. The reader is like a mystical man, just like had all of these secrets. I believed it wasn't just what was written on the leaf, but he's also psychic capacities and capacities to um, access the subtle realms. So I was, yeah, pretty blown away. I was like this magician man telling me all these secrets. Um, the moderator uh, was, it was, it was beautiful to have that because of the different culture. Um, I think it was very necessary. Uh, so I could fully understand and I felt extremely supported through the process. And um, yeah, I sometimes, there was a couple of times I had uh, trouble with translation, but then I was able to get help with the, with the moderator, the person supporting the whole process. So that was a very extra and yeah, for me, an essential part of the process, um, which I'm very grateful for. And the translator, because you know, they're speaking, I don't know what language they're speaking, Tamil or I'm not sure, some Indian language. Um, but yeah, the, the translator, of course, is very necessary <laughs> to English, so I understand what's going on. But it was a very smooth process. Um, yeah, it, you know, there is a, a lot of information to go through and, and it's a long process, but it's, um, yeah, it's curated very well. I was happy with what I heard. Um, it was it was really nice for me to have some clarity and some things that I was insecure around. You know, growing up in a Western culture, more of a masculine dominant uh, society. I'm much more of a yin person naturally and you know, all of these uh, qualities that are more uh, you know, uh, desirable in the West. I don't have, you know, um, the things that they confirmed about me that were my gifts um, are more about being um, musically talented, artistically talented, intuitive. Um, so all of the things that I enjoy. So it's, it's beautiful to kind of have that reassurance and, and confidence that these are the areas that I should really focus my attention in instead of, you know, our conditioning of, of um, progressing more in a, in a more uh, masculine kind of way, climbing corporate ladders or these types of things. So, yeah, it was, it was definitely um, very helpful. I, um, I gained, yeah, a lot of clarity. I found out some interesting information. Um, it helped me 
be more relaxed with the trajectory of my life and how things are going to unfold. Um, there wasn't anything like so surprising. Um, you know, I, the fact that they did say that I need to really, or the, and that I am going to very much continue on a spiritual path and um, continue teaching and these types of things, which I felt very called to do. Um, and eventually have a, a big spiritual awakening with the activation of Muladhara and um, that, uh, many things happening later in life for me. So it's also helped create this sense of patience. It's like, well, everything is coming, you know? Everything is coming. It's just that going to be at a later stage in life, and and I've got different focuses earlier on. So, yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend, um, and it, it also highlighting problems that, uh, you know, may that I may need to address or how I can overcome these issues too, um, which is all very helpful, obviously, because we want to live the best lives we can. So I would definitely recommend um, doing the reading for a sense of, for the sense of magic really, these palm leaves, but um, to help you feel like you're on the right life path, give you a sense of purpose and direction, and make you feel a lot more relaxed about um, the way your life is unfolding. I think I told all my friends to do it. <laughs> Uh, I had a really beautiful experience and I found it such a mystery and just to have this also deep profound spiritual connection with um, the Rishis and, and this beautiful shared experience um, with friends too, like yeah it, it, was, it was very beautiful, I would definitely recommend it.